Hey everyone, this is Cole with Omega Vision Studios again. Coming to you with my second base mock. And so we'll just dive right in right now. Here we have our uh, forest floor again. It's probably it's one of the last bases I'm doing on the Kashyyyk. I plan to do one more base. This is kind of a supply and planning base sort of staging base I guess you could call it but uh, yeah we got our forest floor I don't have too many of these things or these plants so that's why I gotta keep them in different like you know spread out sections but that actually still adds a lot of detail and makes it look pretty cool so we got some in all these different places kind of background story, you know, it's a staging base, it's got kind of some uh, Republic officials here, some Wookiee officials and everything, they're all planning for battles and stuff, and so uh, there's this massive droid army coming, corporate alliance tank droids, sniper droid cause all these droids, and then there's this awesome custom separatist general that I made. He's specially made for this because I wanted him to be like a, the Separatists sometimes, you know, they have other leaders and so sometimes the other leaders uh, lead the battles and so this is one of those other leaders and he's leading this battle. I'll set this down a sec and raise his wings so that you can see what he is in jet mode. He's got this kind of suit. When I was making it, I was kind of thinking about Falcon from uh, the Captain America Winter Soldier. So that's kind of where that came in. He's got this like translu transparent, clear one times two brick here, and he's carrying a vial of virus that they're going to give to everyone in this base. Not quite sure what it'll do to them. And then a sanded down blaster that I kind of sanded some things off and made it look actually a lot cooler. So he's right down in front. The battle has not started yet. You got your cannon, same as last base. I won't go into detail on that. But, uh... He's still aiming right now. We do have the Wookiees, but they are not attacking as of right now. They're just kind of waiting till he gets close enough. And then, following up the line, they're headed right towards the base. That's the front of the base. It's not the coolest, that's why I'm going to take this part right away to build my next one. And then, this rock formation. I tend to do this a lot with my bases. I also tend to do a lot of things where if I like something in one base, I'll I'll use it again in a different one. But, you know, sometimes it fits. Like, you'll see later, I have a small med bay. That'll be in the next base, I'm sure. And it just looked so cool, I wanted to use it again. But, uh, that's okay because... In the real Star Wars Clones movies, they actually reuse a lot of their base, like, uh, architecture for other bases. So, it actually makes sense. But, this kind of landscaping and stuff with the rocks and all that, I don't know, I just like this design. But I think the next one, you guys can look forward to maybe seeing a giant tree. How is that? <laughs> ah, sorry. So comment below whether you would like to see a giant tree or another one of these. And we'll see what we do next week. We got all these guys. They're planning to ambush the Separatists. And so they're just waiting there to sniper and everything. These guys down here have not been spotted yet. And they're waiting to ambush as well. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry about all this sneezing. And so they're just waiting there. 
And then come over here. It's kind of hidden. That's why I don't really like it. Uh, there's this tiny little hidden spot back here. And we'll get into how you can get there and stuff. There's a little entrance into the base. Right in there. But anyways, these guys are waiting to ambush. The droids have not spotted... The droids have not spotted all of these troops in all these places yet, so... They're in for a big surprise. But anyways, we'll get into the first portion of the base. It's actually out here. I thought it'd be cool to kind of make this into a little somewhat secret barracks. Since I never have room in the actual base for all the things I want to do, I decided, well, let's add the barracks inside this thing. When I was thinking, I was going to originally make another one here, but I didn't have enough pieces. It's going to be like right in here, and then I was going to put the medical bay in there. And then the base would just be whatever would be in the base. A prison, what, whatever. Uh, but anyhow, same beds. I'll probably use those again because I do like that design. It's not overly detailed, but it uses some different kind of building, and so it's kind of cool. Oops, this guy fell over. He's going into or going out to help the guys waiting to ambush. Back here, you can't really see it. We have our easily accessible gun rack. And that just fits. Oops. Right on there. And then. We've got in here our toilets and everything, and the sink, toilet paper rolls. I kind of like those toilets quite a bit. But anyways, now we can get on to the base. Alright, so I've taken off the roof now, and we'll just move into the rest of the base. Here's the little door going out, you know, into the pathway that leads to the barracks. And two computers on the wall. They say shield on top. It's because they kind of operate. I kind of pretend because I didn't really add it. But they operate like a shield that goes in front of this door. This radar can tell them if someone's approaching the door or something, you know. Some computers over here. A lot of computers on that stand, actually. There's little screens there. And then that one is... Pretty cool, actually. Hologram table. Another computer screen. There's some computers right here, along with some boxes that line the wall. Oops. There's actually, I think, this box? Yeah, there's some grenades in there. And then you can go into this room. We got a computer screen here. Some computers over here. And the medical bay. This guy just got a robotic arm. He's getting ready to go back to battle. Computers on his walls there. Medical droid. I put him like this, but you can actually change his face to kind of look like that. And then he's actually kind of cool. But anyways, that's him. That guy was getting operated on his arm. More stuff there on the wall. This guy's got actually an IV feeding to this red fluids because you know we're talking about Star Wars here not all of their IVs or fluids will be clear like we have so yeah he's on IV there the line feeds all the way to him each of these have little lights over the beds I like that design too see there's light so you can kind of fold it up when 
someone's not there, you could fold it up, but I don't particularly like when you like to do that. It actually connects to the bed. Each bed I can actually uh, take off the wall like that pretty easily. I see. Let me put them back on there. Huh. Hold on. So, yep, yeah, that's the beds. Pretty much it for the inside of the base of the two windows. Uh, it's pretty plain. Med bay was kind of what I was working on the most, but it's kind of a staging base because they're planning everything here. Medical bay is not the biggest thing, you know. Next base I'm going to build, it will be a hospital base on Kashyyyk, and it should hopefully be the last base I'll build on Kashyyyk. I might build a prison base on Kashyyyk after that. But, um, couple things to comment on. Do you want to see uh, more of this kind of rock formation in the next base? Or do you want to see a sort of big tree? Do you want to see more? I can do, do you want to see a beach and a tree? Or a beach and the rocks? Or um, just a beach? And also comment, do you like the Separatist General? So comment on those things. Uh, comment if you actually just liked this base. Leave a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Cole with Omega Vision Studios.